So the Muslim Students Association has been a, uh, an organization that is quite global, um, founded uh, primarily in um, more westernized societies to cater for Muslim students attending universities and so forth. However, in South Africa, it has a history spanning from the early 70s uh, in conjunction with the Muslim youth movement. Um, some of the founding members uh, you know, have, uh, that have contributed to this particular organization um, are currently with us and serving in an alumni capacity but nonetheless currently it serves approximately 3,000 students in the Western Cape alone um, so I speak on behalf of the Muslim Students Association Western Cape uh, of which I'm the chairperson my name is Mohammed Sheikh so um, basically it is an organization that is youth driven and it is also an organization that uh, caters uh, for Muslim students needs particularly as well as um, an alternative to some of the social programs that are uh, that, uh, that we are familiar with uh, you know that attract and appeal to the youth uh, bringing about a tinge of religion a tinge of spirituality and all-encompassing feel to um, you know holistic growth of and development of youth in general so Western Cape Alhamdulillah we've got um, approximately um, eight establishments that fall under this banner of Muslim Student Association of the Cape and basically each university each uh, higher level of education tertiary education has its own um, sub chapter or sub committee so to say and all of them fall within the ambit of the MSA Cape so uh, basically uh, some of the things perhaps that we uh, try and accommodate for on campus things such as student services trying to source bursaries for student holders trying to um, create halal food halal cake catering um, accommodation so that is one focus in addition to that we have uh, communal events to which many of the students as well as the greater public uh, are part of uh, some of them are natured towards social events others are natured towards community based events uh, all in the holistic development and in the growth of youth so earlier on this year we started off with a leadership workshop basically it was titled the A to Z of running a Muslim organization so we know that in the prince in the time of the Prophet there were principles that exist and were termed in a particular way a particular fashion of organization however in modern day society we've tried to adapt all these principles into a setting that is conducive to uh, the more applicable the more appropriate structures that we are familiar with on a day-to-day -day basis and we had a two days intensive leadership workshop that was dedicated to teach youngsters all the knows how the know-hows of social communication of professional communication of marketing strategies of uh, events management all of these encompassed in this particular program and then later on in the year um, around April May uh, the beginning of May we had a what, what is known as the annual annual uh, MSA Orphans Fund Day so basically we gather we gather orphanages from all around Western Cape we take them out on a fun full day um, giving the caretakers a breather from their day-to-day -day activities in order to ensure that um, you know we create a form of bonding between our students as well as uh, the orphans themselves as was the great practice of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him so um, basically this particular event uh, aimed at um, you know making us youth appreciate the innumerable favors that we have upon us the luxuries that we have on a day-to-day -day basis and also uh, creating that room in our hearts for those that are less fortunate in particularly those children that were deprived of parents uh, from a very young age so this this event concluded earlier on this year and currently as we are speaking today we have have the Ramadan program which is known as Haqibat al-Ramadan or parcels, uh, food parcels for the community members. Members that cannot afford, that cannot fast, that cannot enjoy the same privilege of this great act of worship because of the inability to have or to break fast or to begin fast with in the first place. So um, we try to make it possible for such homes, um, uh, you know, to enjoy Ramadan with us in the spirit of giving, in the spirit of charity, in, in, in the spirit of community community orientation uh, to try and give them a meal or two per day in order to ensure that they also enjoy the wonderful uh, month of Ramadan so as we can see today we have parcels um, we have an assembly of 
different items, non-perishable items that are collected into a big hamper. And uh, today we are proud to say that we are packing 2,340 parcels that will be distributed to different organizations as well as students that are living on residence um, that cannot afford such, um, uh, cannot afford meals per se, um, you know, that, uh, that are living hand to mouth and this will give them a kind of a breather at least for this month inshallah to, to try and enjoy the spirit of Ramadan with us. So we have a variety of volunteers today, young and old, every diverse background, they're all here today in order to pack these hampers and will also engage in distribution today and later tomorrow to different community members, uh, different people that are, ne are in need of such wonderful parcels. So yes, um, as we can see, it's a bit of a, uh, uh, the, the assembly itself is quite uh, quite lengthy, it's quite tiresome, but yes, it gives us the appre appreciation uh, for this beautiful month.